there. I'm author Shanna Reber, and this is uh, the glorious narrator, Brandy Balefire, and this is Genre's Bookshop Podcast, for now, at least I think it is. And uh, we are here to talk about the books and the things. So yes, and Ryan is sick tonight. Ryan is sick. Me. It's been so long since we've done a podcast, and he gets sick tonight. Oh, so I know. Can- what a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> clearly he doesn't have the dedication to the podcasting that we have right i really <laughs> wanted to ask about how baloney bennett is doing but i know but i mean <laughs> yeah so anyway if nobody else remembers that you just have to go back and watch all of our previous episodes all of them figure it out. Every, every single one, single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes 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 okay, I, okay. so uh, it has been a very long time. Many, many things have changed since the yes, last time we did a podcast. They have. And they have. Yeah. I, Especially I, actually, on your end. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. But, yeah. but, 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 I think tonight I will be finishing a short story that I started probably 12 years ago. I was going to make it a novel and I decided that it should be a short story. And I think mm-hmm. I'm finishing it tonight. And I think I'm planning on staying up until I uh, get it edited and out. I should be able to. I might I might just do it tomorrow. If you get tired, go to sleep. Do it tomorrow. I will. I'll still be there. Oh, you have, you have to say hello to the newest member of my little family. Hello, Blaine. Oh, he's he's gonna try and work on the keyboard again <laughs> yeah let's not how That's where's nice. zoe zoe is downstairs thankfully um <laughs> zoe uh is hanging out with lexi which is my dad's dog ah uh, okay yes, yes, yes. right so, i've um, got i've got my own little fatty Oh, hello, Fatty. You are so yeah. handsome. You know, he's over there sucking on his blanket. <laughs> if he gets gas again, I swear. I'm so done. <laughs> he was freaking out. Jed just brought him in here and was like, he needed mom. I was like. <laughs> I mean, don't we all? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, well, okay. So um, this, this uh, short story, though, uh-huh. my plan right now. Uh, well, but the plan, uh, as in it's already written, so it will happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, it mm-hmm. takes place in Door, Michigan, uh, which is about right. 10 minutes from here. Mm-hmm. D-O-R-R okay. is how it's spelled. Say again? And, um, D-O-R-R? R-R, yep. Okay. It's, and uh, the uh, the uh, name of the, shor- of the short story is uh, The Doorkeeper. Get it? Door, uh, door. Look at you. Look <laughs> at you. Intend your puns. <laughs> so but yeah, it. it was it was it was just really fun. And it's one that um my original writers group, they hated it. And um mm-hmm. when I started reading it again reading it again, I was like, yeah, I it's get so why hard. they hated it. But yeah, it was it was it's a decent story. It just needed some work. Right. So I'm putting the work in and turning it into a short story. And I think it's there going to go. be wonderful. Oh, Not my best right. story. I don't think it'll be my best. Because I think uh, Time is my best short story. The one that you narrated. Yes, I did narrate that one. You did. You did. Silver Dime. That was a cute one. Your mom liked that <laughs> one too. She did. She did. Yes. So did my grandma. My grandma oh, really? called me. My grandma called me shortly after I moved here. And uh, she was like, sugar, I read the Silver Dime. And I was so happy. Like, you were a grandma. That's great. She's like, oh, Shug, it was just so sweet. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> she's I not love quite that, that for you. I think that she's precious. <laughs> she's not quite that Southern, but it just, it, it works out better to say it that way. <laughs> she is fairly Shug. Southern, but just a, only slightly less. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, but you, you, my friend, have been doing a lot of work too, correct? I have. I finished um, Mate Academy book two. Congrats. Yes, that's the Shifter Romance one. Okay. okay. And they actually sent me a message this morning because they're they're reviewing it and they're a team, so it probably takes them a little bit. Okay. They sent me a message this morning and they said 
that they were over the moon about one of the professor's voices that I put into there. She's kind of like, I just like kind of made her like old lady-ish, kind of mm-hmm. McGonagall. And then um, they said that my vocal range really shines and they're really impressed and love how I'm bringing the characters to life. And mm-hmm. um, they were like, um, just when we thought you couldn't get any better. I was like, <laughs> I know. See, seriously, so, dude, I, I, that I brightened my day. I keep telling you, you are a fantastically wonderful narrator. And oh, thank hearing, you. hearing that from someone other than me is probably a really good thing. It is. <laughs> and it really did brighten my day. It always brightens my day when you say it to me too, though. But it it really does. It it picks me up and I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you. Because I really do. <laughs> like I put so much like heart into it. And right. yeah. so I'm really glad that it, it's it's showing and that it it's mm-hmm. coming through in the way that I'm intending. So loving that I want to tell you okay I know that we had um a few people asking about my story that I was writing yes a while back and Uh so I want to kind of give a synopsis just so like okay it's out there just so it's out there okay yes okay once you speak it into the universe it can't be pushed aside yes okay (laughs) so the story this is going to be messy because it's you know it is what it is okay so it follows this set of twins um ruby and spencer and ruby is like the huntress foresty type and spencer is kind of a tinkerer their parents get abducted by aliens oh i should i should preface (laughs) this by saying the title of the book is fairies versus aliens (laughs) So their parents get abducted by aliens and then they're running. They live in Alaska. They go out to the forest. They're like trying to chase them. Like, oh my gosh, what happened? They're freaking out. Right. And then they run into these fairies, not like fairies, but like, you know, (laughs) fairies. Yes. Yes. And so I do. The (laughs) fae. And so they come into the contact with these couple of fairies and they get swept up in this world of fairies and like these aliens used to be like in the same like the same thing as the fairies but they tainted the magic that they had and they became the aliens and then there was this war a long time ago that involved the moon and the fairies like they got into like this civil war over the earth and its magic and they were like we need to get rid of this this new race of fairies or these aliens and we need to get rid of them but we don't have enough power so they found like they they searched for this power source and they found one way out in the universe and they pulled it to the earth and when this gigantic thing got pulled to the earth they had a miscalculation because of the mass and like the size of it didn't match the mass that they had calculated oh. and so it pulled all the water in the earth up and flooded the entire earth ah, you ever try this anybody <laughs> great flood okay and then uh they got but in doing that like they had enough power that they pulled out of the moon to jettison these um, these beings out into space to a okay. different planet. So there was like a swap that happened. Ooh. Okay. Um, but they knew they were like, they're going to try to get back eventually. So we need to take this time. We don't know how long it's going to take, but we need to take this time to get ready. There is a time fairy who, and I have kind of built him as my son, Austin. Oh, and his name is Aston, but he's built off of Austin. Now, Austin is autistic, so he likes um, he likes to like rewind things and slow them down and he stems over that kind of thing. So he is a time fairy. He's like over time. And so he's jumping through all these time waves, like trying to figure out what's supposed to happen. But there's like as he does it, you know, all the times split off. So he's trying to make sure that he's in the right timeline all the time. So he's like all the time so he'll show up and be like have we met before like because he's met them but have you met me right so he's and like did i meet in this timeline or the other time like you got kind of like that i guess i've never seen that one but oh it's fun i think you yeah i'm not a tv watcher i should I i should but um anyway so all that happens and so that was like eleven thousand years ago and so now um 
she like you know ruby and and this war and like they're coming back and then come to find out that mom didn't get abducted she got called back Oh, because mom is actually one of these aliens and Ruby is a half fairy, half alien that was genetically coded to be that way. But she has some sort of like, like she's got like six months to live or something like that. And the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with her. She's got like this disease kind of deal. And um, it's because of these two polarities of the fairy and the alien that are fighting each other. Okay. And... So um, one has to die in other in order for her to live. There's a whole prophecy involved in it. And yeah. And so that's kind of like the stage. And then that's all really this other stuff happens. That's really progressed there. a lot since the last time you told me about it. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I've been trying to like really organize the thoughts. And there is like a Bigfoot in there somewhere. And like <laughs> we talked about um, the the fairy, the the Oracle fairy. Okay. Um, yes. Eden, E D Y N N. Mm -hmm. um, I love that. Modeled after my baby Eden. Mm -hmm. um, she has to, like, there's a point where she decides, you know what, you can't be a part of this world. Like, it's too dangerous for you. I'm going to wipe all your memories. And as she takes all the memories from her, she also gets all of her feelings. And that's when she realizes that um, Ruby is in love with Cutter, which is the fairy the boy fairy like her love interest but it's kind of like a Mulder Scully situation it's oh, nothing, oh, 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 oh. right it's kind of like the tension is there the idea is there but nothing ever really happens but maybe it will eventually after this <laughs> happens but anyway I don't know okay so um so yeah that's kind of she you know she, so she figures it out but also that's when um like the overflow of magic that's going through her ends up killing off the alien side of her and it almost kills her entirely and she has to be taken down to like the mother tree and healed up and mm -hmm. then there is a part where she like went right before they, this happens after she escapes from the spaceship she had already found out her mom was an alien and da 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 da, da. and um her and her brother like her brother was like but this is mom you know like they're twins but he was like we need to stay with mom like this is mom what are you talking about this is what we've been looking for and she was like no she's a traitor and he's like no he's just she's just mom and so they kind of have a spat but then dad is like we gotta get out of here so like all this crazy stuff is happening they're being chased down the hallways and they finally get to the portal that's gonna take them back down to the earth and right when they escape Ruby looks down and the only thing that she had, like she was holding her brother's hand and the only thing she has in her hand is like his arm from his elbow down. Like Ooh. the rest of him is gone. So, but she doesn't know if he died or if he's okay or if he's just in pain. Like she doesn't know what happened to him. She thinks he's gotten obliterated and all that's left of him is his arm. But really he's alive and well and he just, he has to get like a new prosthetic alien arm. So he's yes. like on the aliens. So he ends up on the alien side of the war and because he's the tinker and she ends up on the fairy side because she's like the foresty kind. And mm -hmm. so now they're on like opposite sides and it's just so sad. Oh, but yeah. So that's kind that's of, I love that's, it. that's the story. I love it. So how far in have you gotten? Um, I still haven't decided if I want to make it like multiple books or one book, but so I don't know how far I've gotten because I don't know how much there's going to be. But mm -hmm. I've gotten a lot of it done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So um, it's just a matter of like, where is this thing going to go? And where is it going to stop? And like, how much more do I want to put into this? So, and I really need to figure out like the ending ending. Mm -hmm. And I will, but you yes, know. Yes, you will. And I think once I figure out the ending, everything else is going to like really fall in line. Right, and then right. I'm going to have a clearer view. So for all I know, I'm a quarter of the way done or halfway done. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. You, yes, we we will. We, we will be right here with you, my friend. Yay. Okay, so <laughs> we've talked about what we've been writing. Yeah. What have you been reading? I have been reading pretty much everything. Oh, you always uh, are, though. I know, I know, but uh, I I've been uh, broadening my horizons. Um, I'm listening to more um suspense type books. Oh, uh, I love so that. Uh huh, uh huh. 
You knew but, I would um, though. I yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um this one that I started uh quite a while ago. I still haven't finished it. Um, but it's uh, I can't remember the woman's name. Her name is like Geneva something or other. Uh oh. but it's called uh One of Us is Dead. And uh so you go you go uh between five or six different points of view. It's all in first person. Um but then uh, you are uh, listening to these horrible people being horrible to each other and uh, trying to figure out which one of them dies and how it happens and all this jazz. And then you're like, I think that one's going to die. I think that one needs to die. I think they're, they're all just terrible people. Oh my people. gosh, yes. brilliant. But yeah, it really is. It's it's an interesting read and it's nothing. it's nothing I've ever read before. So it was really, it was really fun to read. It, I mean, it still is because I haven't. Yeah, because you haven't finished it yet. <laughs> so is that your favorite thing that you're reading right now? No, right now, actually, my favorite is, um, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. It is, I just picked it up uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, it is... Supernatural, 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 something or other. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, supernatural something box set, which I can't read. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so um, this is really good information. I know, but uh, it is. A really fun book and uh I got the full box set uh on the um not prime what is it kindle unlimited no it's the the full audio box set uh oh, so on it, audible plus, um plus yeah plus catalog uh but it's the supernatural security force is what it's called and it's books one through four and it is hold on I gotta find the author's name uh Heather uh, Hildebrand. It is really fun. It's, hmm. um, the main character is a, um, uh, half shapeshifter, half fairy, and, uh, she, uh, is supposed to keep it secret that, uh, she can't just shift into one form because, uh, it's, it's a very rare gift to be able to shift into any form at all. And uh, oh. yeah, and the the uh, fairy half is it has its own magic, and then she can right. shift into whatever. Uh, but oh it's just it's, it's such a fun story, and I want to do that. Alpha, I know, right? <laughs> there's an alpha werewolf, and there's a, a a protector dude, and you know, there's um angry ne nephilim, and there's oh, just, we love protector we, dude. We love oh. protector, but we love angry nephilims too. Do we? <laughs> I do. Yeah. Yeah, we so. do. <laughs> Grumpy Sunshine is my favorite. Yeah. That's, that's me and Jed. Oh my gosh. You know it is. Like I'm is. the sunshine to his grumpy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. except on Sundays. <laughs> because then he's like all like and I'm like, get out of my face. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> He's like, why are you so grumpy? It's Sunday. I'm like, it's Sunday. <laughs> why are you throwing things? Give me the blank stop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are a little bit, a little bit on the nuts side, just a tiny bit. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? It works. Yes, exactly. Hold on. There was another one though. Um, I got another box set that was like, um, Cozy Paranormal Mysteries. Oh, we love I, those. Those are just so chill. Yes, exactly. Like the mysteries were simple and sweet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the main character is a medium. So she has a ghost cat ah. that follows her around everywhere. And so cute. he's grumpy and he's so much fun. And, you know, then there's a there's love a it. very formal British dude who is the other ghost who is one of her best friends. And, you know, it's just it was cute and sweet and fun. Aww. And I can't remember the name of it because, you know, it's me. And that's what I do. Ah, <laughs> just, just read books. Don't even pay attention to the, the titles. Yeah. I, the titles or the author's name. 
don't forget yeah. that I never know the author's name. Yeah. But yeah, it it is it has been so much fun. And actually I think um I think it was by the same author as uh as it might be the Hildebrand Lady. Hold mm. on. It's got cats on the cover. And I still have to find those. But there's this other um series that I uh, picked up a while ago that I keep intending to listen to um it's yeah. uh like the sorcerer's vengeance uh is is one of them oh the sorcerer's path yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> yes girl I can't remember which one is book one and so I'm having a book hard time one is oh my gosh I don't There's know so it's many of them. There are, and I'm actually, we're actually going to redo the, um, the books because the yeah. first, yeah, the first three were done by right. one narrator and then right. the fourth one started like was a different narrator and then it was the author becomes the narrator right? and he gets a, a woman voice to do just the girl voices. Okay. Yeah. And so That's that you did the, the last ones, right? Right. I did the last three books in this okay. eight nine four books in the series or were there 10 or 11 mm -hmm. um let me see. oh hold on i gotta go to audible i was on kindle <laughs> unlimited we're so good at this aren't we aren't we good at this yeah so <laughs> organized link in my mm -hmm. library okay mm -hmm. the all okay so brock deskins shroud of dark let me see the nope not the rise of the order Sorcerers. <laughs> How does it not tell me which one's book one? This is my problem. This is right. Why, like I know, I, I should know what these are. Sorcerers mm -hmm. Ascension. No. Let me see. If I click on it, I think it'll tell me Sorcerers oh, Torment. Okay. Oh, it's downloading. Uh oh. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a little bit. Why cancel download? Ah, mm -hmm. here we go. Three three buttons this is book two sorcerer's torment is book two okay okay so yeah i have to click on the <laughs> the three dots on the side gotcha. not rise of the order sorcerer's destiny i think is it okay got you no that's book eight just never mind <laughs> I'll, I'll look it up on amazon later right i think that i eight nine and ten i think there's only ten so i did the last three and then he's gonna redo the first three which are the ones done by a different narrator. And that narrator was, okay. You okay. know, I listened to it. The only thing like a lot of people said about it was that he he was he had a really fast pace of talking. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like his actual narration is like he was rushing through everything. His oh, okay. character voices were like absolutely phenomenal. Okay. That's you know what I'm saying? Good. Which is the opposite of the miscreant. You remember yes, that one? Yes, exactly. Yeah, I yes. loved that story so much, but I hated the narrator I so much. And I loved too, his narrator. I loved his narrator voice. Like him just reading. I was like, man, this is like nice. But every time he did a character, I was like, yep. Oh my gosh. Why is it so, it's so, it's so different? Why does it have to be? Yeah. It, yeah. That, so that narrator sorry. was not a good narrator. So, <laughs> and I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's somebody's flavor, but <laughs> he's and I, but I read flavor. it because I loved the stories so much. And he said that he's got another one lined up. He's like, oh, I'm gonna, mm. I think I'm gonna add another one. I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait to hear it. But <laughs> I, I think I'd rather just read it next time. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. I'm it. thinking that's the I'm not much uh, of an audio book person anyway. Oh, uh, the text to speech voice uh, mm -hmm. is better than that guy. That's just all there is to it. Ooh, I hate to hear that. I know, right? <laughs> yes. But, okay. you know, I'm sure but everybody's got a flavor. Precisely. You have to tell me about yours, though. We've been talking all about the books I've been reading. Okay. 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 So, of course, I know we're reading this is different for you. Right. So, we're, okay. Well, we're still reading Harry Potter. We're working on okay. that. Ooh. okay but we're we're on what book three one? it took us a while because we were we're getting it from the library and we can only oh, okay for two weeks at a time and then we have to put it back on hold we're like oh my gosh Quick but note, i always cry uh during book three because uh hearing um 
hearing Harry's mom. Oh, uh, yeah. It, it breaks my heart every single time. Every yeah. single time. I, yeah. I And it's so sister. different than in the movies. Like, because it's I like, know. no, don't take Harry. Take me instead. But it, in the movies, it's just like. <laughs> it's not. Right. No. Mm -mm. It's just really not the same. And there are mm -hmm. so many things. Like, as I'm rereading these stories again for the. 30th time <laughs> I'm yeah. realizing that like and as I I've gotten older I realize why the books are so different from the movies and like yeah. they it's it's so jarring that like wait a minute Hermione didn't say that in the books Ron <laughs> said that in the books it's like they took a bunch of Ron's like really mm -hmm. awesome lines and gave them to Hermione so he they could make Hermione some awesome know-it-all <laughs> brilliant superwoman character and then Ron's just like a puddle of goop over in the corner but he was actually like like as if you just watch the movie you're like why does he belong in Gryffindor but you read the books and you understand like he definitely belongs in Gryffindor so I mean See, I was never a Ron fan never in books I kind of was I was I've never I, I've not been a Hermione fan I can't stand her oh okay could have cut her out of the book and I'd have been fine cut her out of the movie oh my gosh with his eyebrows girl get it together oh my goodness anyway I know and everybody's got a different opinion about it but yeah, yeah, I yeah. am of that opinion I'm not okay. okay anyway okay so Harry Potter we've been listening Harry Potter to yeah we but, listen but, to but 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 okay but, okay I'll tell but, you about you want me to tell you about my smutty one yeah Okay, I'll tell what you about my smutty book. I've been waiting for you. you okay, I read a smutty book. I did. It so was proud. called. I am so uh, proud. <laughs> it was. Not, it was not an enjoyable. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so because um, I don't know. Maybe I got a bad copy. <laughs> maybe I didn't pick the right smutty one. But remember the last time I tried to read a smutty book. Remember that Peter Pan book. That you yes, and I have that one read, sucked, and though. That, that was one terrible. did suck. It was kind of like that. Oh. And I don't know why I keep running into this. It had like a great story plot. Like I was like, I really want to know what's happening. And then just randomly for no reason, just like, you know what this needs? A sex scene. <laughs> and I was like, what? And then it's like, she's <laughs> a virgin, but he's calling her a slut. And I I'm, I'm lost. I'm like, and there was one time I was like, okay okay it's getting a little spicy and i was like trying to rub on jen and then i was like oh he called her a slut never mind i'm the feeling's gone and i just kept reading i was like this i think this was written by somebody who's never had sex before who thinks they know what it's like but it's really not like that i don't know so it was i finished it i will say that congratulations I finished it without <laughs> finishing myself. <laughs> this is a PG show. This is no I'm longer a PG not... show because of you, though. <laughs> it slipped down. I, am I understand. So sorry. I do. Okay. <laughs> it was just I walked right into it, and I was like, I couldn't just leave it there. You couldn't. It was. It was impossible. <laughs> it was. So anyway. So yeah, I finished that one uh, a couple of nights ago. It was wait, wait, wait. okay. What was it? What was it called? It was called Creation's Captive. Creation's so Captive. it's about okay. this girl who can see ghosts, and then she finds out that she's the keeper of this th this um destroyer thing person, okay. and that was Max's ears. <laughs> and um but she also not unknowingly is the reincarnation of this entity's love from their former life together okay. okay and so they have this like destiny bond which evidently whenever she disagrees with them makes her super horny and lust after him that i don't know so yeah, okay. but that's that was, but it's like Morgana has this other destroyer, and she's trying to destroy the planet, and your destroyer has to go destroy that destroyer in order to save the planet, and it's like, yeah, yeah, we need to do that. Stop having. <laughs> 
Please. Okay. Uh, so it's you, uh, you are, uh, you're thinking this about uh, that book. And that's the way I feel about pretty much every romance I've ever read. It's like, guys, guys, there's more to life than taking off your pants. I get it. You're horny. Sure. Let's get on with the right. story. You have, you a have some suspense. To it. Oh my god! <laughs> but I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Because once it's done, I mean, like, it's yeah. done. I'm happy that you didn't actually think much of it because you know I didn't realize. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy for you that you finished it. Congratulations! You have broadened yes. your horizons. And it it ended on a cliffhanger, and I was like, "Well, at least it's over." I read it. <laughs> I finished it. No, I'm <laughs> not moving on to the next one. I I may. I don't know. But you have to be I did sure read and tell a, me if you do. Yeah, I, you know, you'll be the first to know. Thank you. Thank um, you. <laughs> I, I also read. Um, I started another story, but you know how I am about like syntax and stuff. Okay. And this one was it was um it was kind of Rick Reardon R- Reardonish Reardon yeah yeah and but it's not from Rick Reardon it's okay. from someone else I can't remember his oh, name it's some, on my some bedside person. table something about a colossus uh okay. seven wonders um it was the main character is a thirteen year old it is written in first person and he has the syntax and mental thoughts put together of a 35 year old like i don't know phd college professor or something like that you know like it's just like why does this child talk like this why does he think like this like why does he have such such expression he's a child he is a child. He, he yeah. shouldn't. He shouldn't have such an eloquent way of speaking, and that bothered me. And I, I was like, yeah, yeah. I don't think I can read this because this isn't. This doesn't feel real for me. So right, I was like, right. Eh. I read like thirty pages of it, and I was like, okay, mm. I'm next. <laughs> next. I'm not gonna waste my exactly. time on something I don't want to read. So <laughs> I did read a sci-fi book about this girl. It's very kind of like Titanic-ish. Oh, um, where um this crew of um i don't know people like you know it's like futuristic sci-fi they live on a ship they're out in like the solar system web or whatever that protects the solar system they're checking on the stuff it's like how they talk to other solar systems not really sure but they they're out on the edge of it and they get this signal and they go investigate it and they're like that sounds like a signal from like that ship that got lost 20 years ago Ooh. and then they go out and they find the ship and it was like it's maiden voyage and it was supposed to be like the most magnificent it was very titanic like right oh you know it was supposed to be the most magnificent the richest people got on there um and um then it just disappeared without a trace and nobody knew what happened to it well they get on the ship and they realize like this is crazy like what's going on but the main character at the same time she sees ghosts okay and so she's like am i seeing a ghost or like like my crewmates are experiencing something and i'm experiencing something are we experiencing the same thing or is this just like my craziness or is this the ship craziness Mm -hmm. so she's trying to decipher like which crazy is the appropriate one that she should focus on yeah so she that sounds, um, cool. that, that oh, sounds like one I would be interested in it was very good and it was like she and it, and it gets told from a perspective of like when it starts out she's like being interrogated and Ooh. what happened to your crew where have you been you killed everyone and you took a ship back and you you know you're a murderer we're gonna put you and she's like that's not what happened at all I probably like but they have her all drugged up and stuff and then it's her telling the story of what happened that's cool I love that and then it goes back and forth between the interrogation and then her and then it comes to a head when they finally get like the interrogation becomes the story Okay. And they're going back to the ship to go find out if anybody's left. But I mean, it's like okay. wild stuff. Like they're they're like the people from the ship were like floating in the air and like Ooh. the two captains like shot each other. And it was okay. like it was like they're looking around like these people are frozen in the way that they died because like and they're like trying to figure out 
what happened? What okay. happened hey, to the we, original ship? Oh, go ahead. We we got to we got to close up cuz we're about to we lose do. time. Yeah, I know. But like I'm, that book. Girl, I'm done now. Okay. Oh, I need to know the name of the book. <laughs> do hickey. Thing I'm a bopper. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I don't know. Hold on. Okay, well, we got we to gotta end before this uh, shuts me down. So it was lovely chatting with you. Um, please keep reading and uh, send me a message as to what that book is because I really, really want to okay, read it. Okay, okay. Those okay, all right. And I will okay. see you next time. It is. Oh, we got shoot. No shoot, she took off her headphones. Huh? What? Me? No, what? <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. I dropped my iPad. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the name. Of, I got three and a half minutes to tell you the name. Okay. Of the name. Okay. <laughs> okay. It is. It was. Was. Come on. Was. Man, you was, and me, we are not good at this. <laughs> I know. I didn't expect. <laughs> what was it called? It sounds really good, though. So it, the, what what I'm trying to say is keep reading because this this sounds awesome. Be sure and send me a message to tell me what that book is. It no, was it Dead Silence. Dead, Dead Silence. Silence. Okay. All right. Who's the author? The author is S. A. Barnes. S. A. Barnes. Dead Silence. I will <laughs> definitely be looking for that. <laughs> okay. I will probably be publishing tonight, and it was lovely chatting with you. And I will talk to you soon. All right, sis. Love ya. <laughs> Me too. See you guys. Uh, we'll see you later. Won't see Ryan, yeah. but you know, I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye.